Good morning. Today is Monday, January 23rd, and this is your weekly budget brief from National Priorities Project. I'm Mattia Kramer, Senior Research Analyst. Tomorrow night, President Obama will give his last State of the Union address of his first term as President. The State of the Union address is often important because the President gives a preview of what will be in his upcoming budget request. President Obama will release a budget request in early February that pertains to fiscal year 2013, which will begin on October 1st, 2012. So we at National Priorities Project will be watching the State of the Union address tomorrow night for hints about what will be in his new budget request. Here's what we're expecting. Back in September, President Obama released the American Jobs Act. That's his plan for job creation, and it includes measures like giving money to the states to prevent layoffs of public workers like firefighters and teachers, and it also includes tax incentives for employers who hire the long-term unemployed. President Obama proposed paying for those spending measures by raising taxes on some of the wealthiest taxpayers. We'll be listening tomorrow night to see if any of those kinds of job creation measures or those higher taxes will be likely to be included in his budget request for 2013. Another thing that we're interested in hearing about is how President Obama's new budget will deal with the deficit reduction measures passed back in the Budget Control Act of 2011. That's the debt deal that was passed back in August. Because of that legislation, there are caps on discretionary spending for the 2013 fiscal year. That means that President Obama will have to reduce spending on programs like education and energy and other kinds of discretionary programs by about 7% relative to his last year's budget request. We expect that his new budget will indeed comply with those spending caps from that legislation. However, you might recall the Super Committee and all the talk about it back in November. The, su the Super Committee was unable to come up with $1.2 trillion in deficit reduction. And because it failed to do that, and according to the Budget Control Act, it triggers automatic across-the-board spending cuts of $1.2 trillion over 10 years. We don't expect that President Obama's new budget will take into account those automatic spending cuts, which would cut spending below those discretionary caps that we already talked about that were also passed in the same legislation. These are a couple of the things that we'll be looking for tomorrow night. I hope that you'll tune in too to hear President Obama's State of the Union. And check back with us next week for another budget brief.